Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at the top three ways to get the most fame in Albion Online. Uh, there's three different ways that really stand out against other uh, methods of earning fame. Uh, the three ways starting out with dungeons. Random dungeons. Random dungeons are going to be third on our list as they are very, very, very good for fame farming uh, is what they call it. You run dungeons with other players in Albion Online and you actually get great, great fame from killing bosses right there. We got 4.2k from killing a green boss and you get some decent loot in these chests as well. Uh, obviously, the green is the worst, blue is the second best, uh, or second worst, and purple is going to be the best. Uh, there is a chest above purple, but it is very, very, very rare, so I guess that would be the best. It is like a champion's chest of some sort, so it is the best chest out there, um, but it is 100% uh, much rarer than a purple chest, so... You guys, um, if you are looking to fame farm, random dungeons is a great way to do that. Um, there's portals all over around the map in Albion Online. There's portals everywhere. Uh, as you just saw, I got a Tome of Insight right there, an extra 10k. Those are common drops in random dungeons, so you'll get a lot of XP doing this uh, method of fame farming. So the next method of fame farming we're going to be looking at is going to be, you may have guessed it, 2v2 Hellgates. Uh, 2v2 Hellgates are something that has just been sprouted about uh, recently. A lot of players are jumping into 2v2 Hellgates a lot more common now because of the insane fame and the insane loot that you can actually get from this. Uh, this may be a less um, common approach for some of you newer players as you may not know about it, you may not have the gear, you may not have the spec to run into 2v2 Hellgates and actually have a shot at it, but as you can tell, look at this boss, how weak it is. Uh, running double DPS here, but we're able to chop that boss down in a matter of, you know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And I got a 17k fame from the boss, plus 10k fame from the uh, tome that dropped. And you almost always get one tome for you or your teammate. So, obviously in here you are going to have fights though. So, it is a little bit more risky, but this is definitely probably the second, I would say, I would say... Definitely, probably, I don't know, I said definitely, probably. This is definitely the second best uh, fame in the game right here. I mean, 2v2 Hellgates, you actually just run through them very, very quickly as there's only three bosses, and there's just a chest in the middle that also gives you 15k fame, I believe. Um, but these minions actually give you a decent amount of fame, and then the bosses each give you 17k fame each. So I would really suggest trying to run some 2v2 Hellgates if you haven't already. Uh, see if it works for you. Um... You know, they, they made it pretty uh, pretty balanced because of the way uh, it works. I mean, you are risking all of your gear. Um, you, you aren't going in here just getting the free fame and running out most likely. Uh, they're not going to, most teams aren't going to let you do that. So uh, you are going to be forced to fight and risk everything. Um, and and it kind of makes it such a fun, uh, such a fun game mode. Honestly, the PvP in Albion Online is the reason I'm here. And it's just been an absolute blast. Uh, running Hellgates just so often because of the amazing fame and not not even mentioning the amazing loot in the middle uh, once you kill the chest. Um, but right here we're actually looking at a Hellgate. Uh, they're running flat four, so you're you know there's some people that run little uh, pretty bad gear yet. So if you're just running flat four and you overcharge, you you do have a chance against some of these teams, and it's it's definitely worth giving it a shot because. The fame you receive, like I said, 17k per boss is unheard of anywhere else. So definitely take a look at it. Um, I mean, the time you take to get this fame is just so short too. As this fight's going on now, uh, we're we're jumping into a fight. These guys were a little bit worse. Like I said, they had flat four, so they weren't running uh, anything special. That's for sure. Um, as I chase down the last guy here, uh, we're gonna jump on him with the mark. Um, but yeah, I was just running a blood or a battle axe build there, or not a battle axe build, a axe build. And uh, right here we have the number one spot of five e five Hellgates. Five e five Hellgates is by far the best fame out there, and I don't know if anyone has really tried it. Uh, but if you haven't, you need to because the five e five Hellgates gives you insane fame per hour. I, I mean, anywhere from close to 
800K to one mil fame per hour when I'm running with a five-man team and we're winning every Hellgate. Um, obviously, you're not going to have nights where you're winning every Hellgate, but 50K fame per boss plus a 10K fame per about every other boss uh, from tomes that drop, you're, you're looking at almost a mil fame per hour, and it's just absolutely insane because these outer bosses, there's five of them. If you guys run a fast team that can kill these bosses quickly, you can actually get four of the five sometimes. You're running, I mean, 200K fame there alone. Uh, you get tomes. So let's say you get two of the four tomes. Um, you're, then you're looking at 220K fame from one run. Let's say you kill the middle boss, which is worth a hundred over 100K fame. You're looking at 330K fame from one run. Um, and you're able to do multiples of these in an hour. I, I would say you could probably run... You could probably run five or six per hour if you're winning every single one. So really, you're looking at over a mil fame per hour here, and it's absolutely insane. Um, you are risking a lot as you do have to get a five-man team and run into uh, the Hellgate with decent gear if you want a chance of actually winning and taking the amazing loot in the middle uh, or even killing the amazing boss in the middle. Uh, the bosses are a lot harder to kill here. I saw, um, if you didn't see, in 2v2 Hellgates, the bosses take about no... Um, <laughs> No skill to actually kill, uh, but here you actually have to dodge abilities, and you actually have to, um, you know, kind of out heal the bosses. You're going to die if you don't have a healer. Um, you just kind of have to run an actual comp, and that's the one thing I like about fives for sure is uh, they can jump on you in the middle of a fight here. So we are we are risking a lot of, um, you know, a lot of silver running these running these five v five hellgates, but they're so much fun, and we're going to show you guys a little fight here that can happen in five v five hellgates. Um, and we'll also show you the boss at the end that you fight for the 100k fame uh, for the best fame in the game honestly I think that's the best uh, fame you can get from any boss kill uh, is 100k fame right there and, and it's in 5v5 hellgate so take a look here as this is just a normal 5v5 hellgate fight uh, you know some reason we decided to fight after the boss was already up sometimes you'll fight before the boss is up but this is just a little bit more hectic because the boss is up and it's also firing away with us uh, but it's it's a lot of fun. This is honestly the most fun I've I've had playing um, an open world MMO uh, is five v five Hellgates. It's just it's that much fun. You're risking. I mean, when you play a good team, you're it's an evenly skilled matchup, and you're getting insane loot. You're getting insane XP. Uh, you're you're not wasting your time like you know some of these other ideas like uh, taking camps in the middle of zones is you know pretty much a waste of time compared to five v five two v two or uh, dungeons random dungeons. But honestly, 2v2 and 5v5 Hellgates have just outscaled random dungeons at this point. Uh, if you're willing to risk gear, 5v5 Hellgates is by far the most, um, the biggest opportunity for you to level all your gear up quickly. Uh, I know I got my 100 in Great Curse staff just recently because of running Hellgate 5v5s. So uh, my Great Curse is at 100. Uh, Mastery, um, its destiny is not fulfilled. Or its destiny is fulfilled. My bad about that, guys. Um, but yeah, like I said, the the I mean, you'll see here how much fame we do get. I believe it's it's over 100k fame per person. Uh, I believe it's like 115k fame though. We'll check it out right here. Um, yeah, 105k fame per person. And then look at the loot we get. You automatically almost always get um, tomes. And I don't know if you guys saw the stack I get there is what five. So, I mean, you're, you're getting an extra, like, 50k fame every time you kill the boss as well. So you're getting about 150k fame each boss kill in the middle. Um, th it's just a loads of loads of fun. And I, I really do suggest everybody give it a go and give it a try. Uh, even if you're running four flat gear, you have a chance of winning against other people that are running that low of gear. Occasionally, you'll get dumpstered by those people running 7181 gear. But there's a soft cap. So if they're running expensive gear, they're not actually going to automatically destroy you. It's going to be based on their skill level at that point still. So, um, I, I mean, honestly, give it a go, guys. And I, I really do appreciate you guys stopping in. And I want to show you guys one last thing. This is the Invite Your Friends and Earn Rewards page on Albion Online. Uh, this is another way to earn great, great fame. My referral link is there in the middle, and it's also in the description of this video. Uh, but this isn't for me. This is honestly to show you guys what you can earn using this as a way to earn more fame. Um, so right here, you can see there's seasonal rewards for each amount of uh, friends you invite, 1, 3, and 5. But then we have the recruiter's pile of tomes. If you invite one friend, you get 200k fame. Uh, it's 
just unbelievable amount of fame, and I, I think you guys should take advantage of it. Um, but like I said, this is the top three most fame in Albion Online. Most most fame by far, honestly. Um, this is the best way to earn your fame, and I, I really hope you guys take advantage of, of the Hellgates right now as they're popping off with this new update uh, that came about a month ago. They just... It's absolutely amazing fun, and it's a great opportunity to get all your gear leveled up quickly. And uh, that'll be it for me, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.